it's probably a good idea to show you what I'm starting with before it actually starts. So this is where I keep all of my tops and my jackets. And this, to be honest, isn't too messy. However, half of it, I'm just not gonna wear. Then you kind of pan down and this is where we have the mess because I've kind of just chucked a load of stuff in. All the hangers are about to break. There's so many clothes pushed underneath there. And again, I need to just try some of the stuff on, realize what I'm realistically not gonna wear again. And then whatever I don't wear can go in the charity pile. And then you switch to the other side and back here, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, it is an absolute mess. And then again, you pan down and all the shoes are okay. They're not too bad. This bag shelf is diabolical and these drawers are horrific. Like they don't even shut anymore because there's so much stuff in them. So these drawers, I really need to have a proper good sort out of. The thing is, I said to myself this time when I'm doing it, I have to be strict on myself because I do this so often, but I just keep stuff because I have this like weird attack attachment to clothes and I think oh but what if I ever wanted that again when realistically I know I'm not going to wear it again so all of the clothes that I decide to get rid of I'm either going to put some on Depop so people can buy them or I give them to the Salvation Army or a women's charity I kind of just split them into bags and then drop a couple off at each place I am really fortunate in my job that I do get new clothes quite often so this is just a nice thing to do just to clear out just to kind of give back to other people as well because I do have a bunch of new clothes to put in my wardrobe and I just physically don't have space anymore also because it's coming into winter and like winter fashion on YouTube is oh my god it's beautiful even though the stuff I've bought isn't really practical for winter however it's cute so I'll show you it when I'm packing it away I have told myself I'm gonna be so strict like I'm already looking at half the clothes in my wardrobe and thinking nope you are going so I'm gonna make two different piles cue the time lapse This here is the pile of clothes that is going to the charity shop and this here is the pile of clothes that I'm keeping. So we pretty much split my wardrobe 50-50 so far. empty I have so many more clothes than I thought this is actually making me feel a little bit sick so I am now going to slowly start put all of these back in my wardrobe and see how much space I actually have it's actually 12 o'clock so I'm going to have some lunch just to kind of split it up because that's just going to take me a little I think I'm gonna have this and let me tell you this is one of the best finds if you like aromatic duck You are gonna be obsessed. This is the Tesco aromatic shredded duck with pancakes and hoisin sauce and it looks like this I got mine on sale for £1.50. They normally retail I think for £3.50 and I ordered them in my food shop the other night and I had one yesterday Phenomenal. I basically just cut up my own spring onion and cucumber and then obviously just cook this and it takes 50 seconds in the microwave. Everyone was tagging me in that new way to eat aromatic duck and it was like where you put the pancake in your mouth and like shove it in but I just can't do it. This is a nice little lunch break. This is honestly my favorite food at the moment. I never really used to eat duck. And then I went to Wagamama's and then I tried these before lockdown and I loved it. And then one day in lockdown, I just got this like weird craving for duck again. And here we are. It's actually too good. I feel like I'm living a blessed life right now. My favorite food, organizing all my clothes. I literally couldn't ask for more. Lunch was 10 out of 10 and it is time to finish packing my wardrobe. Hair is going up. You know, when it's getting serious, my hair goes up. <laughs> My wardrobe literally looks half empty compared to what it did, but it looks so much better. I've still got a bunch of new stuff to go in, but this is all of the stuff that I'm keeping from the stuff that I already had. Next up, before I pack everything away, we are gonna tackle this drawer. This drawer is absolutely horrific. And like I was saying, I just have such an attachment to half these clothes and I just need to get rid of it. Like part of the whole like new me and like trying to manifest my life is getting rid of all of my old clothes and getting rid of all the bad energy and starting again. So I need to get rid of half of this draw. All 
the drawers have done, I have done my underwear drawer and then just separated them into bras and knickers. And then I've also finished this drawer under here, which is hats and socks. And compared to what this was like an hour ago, I have gotten ridden of so much stuff. Next shelf we are gonna tackle is the bag shelf. I mean, all the shoes and stuff I'm pretty much keeping. So I'm just gonna kind of make those shelves look clean and tidy. This shelf, I'm gonna get rid of a lot of the bags because I just don't wear them. All my bags are in and all of my shoes are organized. I've got a load of sliders at the back that are just kind of chucked there, but there's nothing I can really do about that. And then I've got all my Jordans, all my trainers. This really does look a million times better. It is about two hours later and I am just in the middle of trying on a load of clothes and like planning outfits, but my room literally looks like a dumpster. I've never seen my room this messy before and I don't even think I can show you because it's actually paining me so much but I will show you my room when it's tidy in in a little while. <laughs> Ignoring all of the mess though, how cute is this outfit? Ah, oh my god I'm so happy. <laughs> I really wasn't going to show my new outfits but I just tried on the nicest outfit ever. I'm so excited to wear this. I'm just gonna have to show you guys because I love it so much. You can now see how messy my room is but here is the fit. I'm obsessed. The blazer is weekday, the jeans are also weekday and then the top is ASOS collusion. I'm in love. I'm in love. Finally I've got some fashion sense. We are done. Here is the top level. It looks so much better and then here is the bottoms. It's all colour coordinated. I've got jeans on the left and then we've got other trousers and then I've just colour coordinated this kind of up here as well. This looks really dark. It's actually navy so I need to move that a little bit along. That is that bit done. Here are all of my shoes and my bags and then all of the drawers. Oh my god I'm so happy. Mummy's having a little Sort out. She is. Oh, what I started to do, do my switch over. So, and pack me some of the stuff away, which I've done. And then, yeah. all of this is going to charity. To, yeah. yeah, definitely. We've got a lot of stuff for the charity about, shop. There's probably about 50 things here. At least. It was all stuff from last autumn winter. <laughs> I know I won't wear it, so I might as well go to people that will. Yeah, that's exactly what I do with all my stuff you know, as well. What's the point in it taking up space underneath the bed yeah, when other people can wear it? People would probably like it. you know what I mean? Yeah. Junk! Junk! It's not junk. junk, it's good clothes. We're just trying on some um skinny dip collection. How do I do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. No, what a rip! Oh, it's not going to be a rip. Yeah, it's not going to be a rip. Bob, is it your saying on a t shirt? It's really big though. Yeah, but we'll cut it, but it's fine. Everyone buy them. Everyone go buy them. Going to Atticus's trust fund. It is. Eighteen. So all the money made from these t-shirts, I'm giving to Atticus it's in a trust some fund. Money, aren't you? But a lot of it's going. It's to... all going to a trust fund. So put the website here. Go and buy some, and go and buy some of my other stuff as well that I've done with Skinny Dip. I can tell you now because you've showed it in your vlog. What? Also, there's a oh and a version of this. There is, which is Mummy saying. If you choose yourself, man, of that t-shirt. What, darling? Well, you've never mentioned it in a video, have you? No. No. Remember that saying? Yeah. Oh my god. I can still remember it as like when I actually said it. Go on then, say it again. I can't say it as good as I ever did. Okay. You unless can... I get that shocked again. You can give it a good go though. Okay. What a rip off! That's yeah. It. That's it. What other things have I got in my collection? Robes. Yeah. And jumpers and phone cases and AirPod cases and hoodies. Oh God. Go down, click the link and subscribe and make sure you buy this. Clever boy. That's good, Atticus. Mum, your turn. Yep. So I put down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I don't, I don't get what you're doing. Where for it? Guys, I just got a parcel delivered and I'm not really sure what is in this box because I haven't ordered anything and it's absolutely huge. So I'm just going to open it. It's balloons. Oh my god, this is so sick. No way. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. Guys, look what Ski Dip have sent me. They've sent me a load of balloons that say, oh my god, this is so crazy. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god, these are amazing. Mum, this is so sick. Are you kidding? Look at how cool these are. Skinny Dip X. 
That's me. Oh my god, I can't believe. And just as you think the day can't get any better, I decided to treat myself to something I've wanted for a very long time. I only buy myself nice designer things when I think I deserve them. I just can't bring myself to buy them like willy-nilly. So every designer piece I have has a meaning behind it. For example, last year when I bought myself the Chanel bag, that was my dream bag for hitting 1 million subscribers. This bag here that I bought myself, I've wanted now for about six months, but I, like I said, I just couldn't bring myself to buy it without a reason. And Skinny Diff is literally a dream come true to me. Like, it's all I've ever wanted to do is bring out my own collection. Especially something that's so, like, me. Like this. Like, I just can't believe. So I ordered this bag two days ago. I didn't think it was actually going to arrive today when everything else arrives. But I've already opened it, but I've just popped it back in the box to show you. So here is my Prada box. I paid to have it all, like, gift wrapped and stuff just because... I wanted to treat myself. I also wrote myself a little note in the envelope to keep and it says Prada at the top and it says, to me, congrats on making another dream come true. Here's to the next. So I'm gonna keep that forever. As you guys know, I love shoulder bags. So I bought myself the Nylon 2000 re-edition and it is literally one of my dream bags. As soon as I saw this come out again, I was like, oh my God. And since they've brought it out in so many different colors. But for me, I just like like a black staple bag. I honestly could not be more in love with this if I tried I need to cut this tag off here this one actually stays on the bag you can take it off but I think I'm gonna keep it on and oh my god it's literally like every time I put it on my shoulder I'm like I can't believe it's mine I'm just so happy so thank you so much for making this possible because without you guys watching and without you like literally you I'm talking to you right now I would not be in this position and I would not be getting to do this skinny dip range so every single person who has watched my videos and every single person who has commented and liked everything this is all because of you and I cannot thank you enough at the moment I'm probably the happiest I've ever been in my entire life and I feel like it's just showing in every aspect like I literally feel like I'm glowing because I'm so happy to me that is genuinely the biggest improvement because at some points in my career I genuinely didn't think I was going to be able to carry on so to be here today and to be this happy and to have this many good things happening to me and so many things for next year as well I can't thank you enough so me and my baby are just gonna chill today in my newly organized wardrobe I'm gonna put her pride of place and sort all my purse out and stuff but oh my god meet my new my new baby i'm in love with her so yeah that is what i want to show you guys i'm very very happy i am now going to continue filming my video and then later we can make some dinner i can't wait tomorrow as well for the launch event there's so many of my friends coming on and i'm so excited that we're all going to be making pizza together i'll show you everything tomorrow that i've gotten sent for the launch because obviously if covid wasn't a thing i was going to get to have like an actual launch in the skinny dip shop in london but obviously because of covid and everything we can't do that anymore so we're doing a zoom pizza party Party, which is amazing and it's in partnership as well with pizza pilgrims which is like what it is dinner time in our household and i am about to cook myself some tacos i have been craving tacos for quite a few days now and tonight 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 is happening here we go i've got my stand and stuff taco kit got my mint which i need to cook and then i'm going to cut up some of my tomatoes some onions to pop on top it's going to be good i've got all my bits and bobs i've got my taco shells my onion tomato cheese i'm about to brown my mints then i've got my seasoning and i've got some salsa i have got my tomato onion and cheese ready i have just added some seasoning to the mint i'm just going to leave it to simmer for a minute and then my tacos are good to go here is my dinner and i am now going to sit and watch this and me and mum are just watching some compilations of the most iconic british tv moments so everyone it is launch day and i am just getting ready to do my pizza launch party here is the box it says oana on it skinny dip and pizza pilgrims and then inside the dough kind of exploded i'm not really sure what happened obviously it's still usable but um topping some of my dough and stuff and then i'm about to go on zoom and i'll show you guys everyone when we're on there Hi. hello Look at everyone in their merch. Everyone's got Oana stuff on. Here's our pizza. Right, guys, getting my pizza out. Oh my god, it actually looks really good. <laughs> Well, pizza actually looks sick. <laughs> has a right arm face time, but has is indeed naked. So <laughs> here's my pizza. <laughs> Guys, my collection launches in one minute. I have the website up and I'm gonna get my Instagram post ready to go. I don't even know what I'm nervous for, but this is just like crazy. Okay, Instagram post is all ready to go. Oh my God, it's six o'clock. Is it live? Just refreshing the page. Oh my God, it's live! 
Oh my god, why does it look like this then? Oh my god, I didn't realize they were doing this. Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. I'm actually gonna freak. <gasps> Atticus, look at your t-shirt. Atticus is here next to me. Oh my god. Hello guys. He's here. Happy launch day. We go to McDonald's. I love it. Do you like it? Yeah. We love to see it. Obviously, we had to get McDonald's to celebrate. Get the receipt off. Um, it's been about an hour now, just about an hour and a half. Yeah. Guess what I got you? What? Kee <laughs> hee. Minion toy. Look at something. <laughs> <laughs> what you've got? It's yours. How do I open it? I'll open it. 